Welcome to Linux Server Tutorial. In this session, we are going to see about how to install VirtualBox and then how to manage VirtualBox by using PHP VirtualBox tool. PHP VirtualBox is a tool which allows us to access the VirtualBox by using web browser. So you can install VirtualBox on a centralized server and you can access the VirtualBox from any client on your network by using a web browser. Now let's install the VirtualBox. Now run the following command to create a repository file for VirtualBox. Now type vim space slash etc slash m dot repos dot t slash virtualbox dot repo and then hit enter. Now here we need to create entry like this and then save the file. Now we have created virtualbox repository. For that run the following command m space install space epl hyphen release space hyphen y and then hit enter now epl repository is installed now type this command we are going to install these packages for virtual box now type this command and then hit enter now the package is installing wait for some time until the installation is complete here you can see now the packages are installed next we need to set environment variables before that check your kernel version by typing the command uname space hyphen r now run the following command now type this command and then copy your kernel version and paste it here and then hit enter next install the virtual box by running the following command now type this command to install virtual box and then hit enter now it's installing wait for some time it will take some time to download and install virtual box now here you can see virtual box is installed here you should get output like this if in case you are notifying any failure message here means the kernel modules are not installed properly we can able to rebuild the kernel module by running the following command now run this command hit enter now the kernel modules are loaded next we need to install virtualbox extension pack to get full functionality for virtualbox now run the following command to download virtualbox extension pack now type this command and hit enter now it's downloading after downloading run the following command to install virtualbox extension pack now type this command and hit enter now it's installing here you can see now the extension pack is installed now let's create a user for virtualbox so type user add space and then username now hit enter now create password for the user type your password and type it again now the password is created for the user now type this command this command will add this user to vbox users group now hit enter now run the following command to install apache package and php modules now type this command and hit enter now the package is installing wait for some time now the packages are installed next run the following command to download php virtualbox from internet now type this command and hit enter now it's downloading here you can see it is a zip file so we need to extract it by using unzip command so type unzip space file name and then hit enter now it's extracted here you can see a new directory next we need to move this directory to the default document root for apache which is slash var slash www slash html now run the following command now type this command this command will move this directory to the document root slash var slash www slash html and then it will rename the directory as php virtual box now hit enter now the directory is moved to document root next run the following command now type this command here this command will copy this file and it will rename the file as config.php under this directory 
now hit enter now type this command to edit config.php file now hit enter now here we need to mention the username and the password for the virtual bus user now type your virtual bus username and the password and then save the file now run the following command now type this command here we are creating a new file under slash etc slash default now hit enter now here create entry like this here we need to mention the virtual bus username and then save the file now run the following command to start the virtual bus web service now type this command hit enter now the virtual bus web service is started now start the apache service so type service space httpd space start and hit enter now disable your sl linux now type in space slash etc slash this config slash sl linux now here type sl linux equal to disabled and then save the file now restart your system to take effect type the command and hit enter after restarting your system once again restart the apache service so type service space httpd space restart and then hit enter now open your browser and here type the link address as like this here you need to mention your server ip address here you need to mention your ip address and then slash php virtual box now hit enter here you can see a login page here the username is admin and the password is also admin now type the username and the password and then click login here you can see a virtual box console on your web browser from here we can able to access the virtual box and we can able to create the virtual machines by clicking here here you can see the information for the server where the virtual box is installed you can access the virtual box from your local machine or you can access it from your client side to allow the clients to access virtual box by a web browser you need to allow the firewall for apache service and then all clients can be able to access the virtual box so that's all about for the tutorial hope this video is helpful for you thank you for watching